Well, could it be the year of the 14 seed? That's the buzz tonight with the UAlbany Great Danes, the men's basketball team, seeded 14th, taking on number three, Oklahoma, tomorrow night. Two number 14 seeds broke a lot of brackets today with upset wins. Kelly O'Donnell is with the team in Columbus. He joins us live now with a preview. Spirits soaring there, Kelly? question about it. Greg, as you mentioned, it's been the year of the upset so far. Now the Great Danes did practice around 6 o'clock inside Nationwide Arena. Before that, they spent the day the way most college basketball fans did today, and that was watching games. And as they watched from their hotel, one higher seed after another fall, all it did was reinforce the idea, why not us? It's pretty exciting, but it's March, so anything can happen in March. And while that may be true, what's happening in this tournament is nearing the unprecedented. Just showing aware of, you know, anybody can lose. I know it's March Madness, so you know, nobody just going to come in and you know, just lay down. 14 seeds Georgia State and UAB both won on Thursday and both had the pledged support of 14th seeded UAlbany. I mean, I think everybody pulls for the underdog if they don't have sort of a strong allegiance to a team. So uh, we were certainly pulling for the, the two 14 seeds to get the win and excited to see them do it. And if the Great Danes win Friday, it'll be the first time in the history of the tournament that three 14 seeds win in the same year. But if the upsets got UAlbany's attention, Oklahoma took notice too. Oklahoma's probably a little bit preparing a little bit harder now. It's not a good thing for us, but we're prepared, so we're ready. What's more, the two three seeds that lost Thursday both play in Oklahoma's conference and finished ahead of the Sooners in the regular season. So yeah, they noticed. You no, know, we saw Baylor lost, Iowa State lost, and uh, you know, and uh, it's just it's just crazy how everything is going to be the best RBI in the league, and uh, you know, we just got to go out there and execute and have fun, have fun and focus and uh, get ready to get after them. I don't think we're we have to, if we worry about it. I feel like we'll go and like play into a slump so I feel like if we don't worry about it and just focus on ourselves and what we need to do tomorrow uh, we can win still and tip off tomorrow is at 727 on True TV now you Albany heading into that game will try and be that third 14th seed to win a game in the NCAA tournament never before done coming up on the late local news on CBS 6 I'll have the story of Sam and Mike Rowley's parents who flew 23 hours from Sydney Australia to be here for tomorrow's game. But for now, with the Great Danes live in Columbus, Ohio, Kelly O'Donnell, CBS 6 News.